ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods, a renaissance. Welcome back, everybody. I know it's been like a, over a month since the last time I did an episode on this, but that's because I have no reasons. I really enjoy this series, and for whatever reason, I just kind of stopped doing them. They've been planned for, like, on the weekend, and I guess my weekends have been a little busy, so maybe that's my excuse. But who cares what the excuse is? The main reason that I'm doing this is because I want to do it. There we go. So welcome back to another episode. I believe this is episode four? Maybe three or four? I can't remember. Can't remember. But last time that we did this, we built this amazing starter house. Look at this beautiful thing right here. Sitting up on top of the hill. We had an idea to build like bridges in between. Lean over to there. Lean over to there. To all different things. We're going to have like floating farms and a whole bunch of cool looking things. But the main thing we, that we have to decide what we're going to do is we really need a solid food source. Because right now... Our food source, man, it's not very good. We don't really have all that much going on for us. I mean, we've got a couple of these gardens, which we can maybe make some stuff out of. Got some mushrooms, got some berries, but I mean, beyond those, man, I, I just don't know. We don't really have all that much. Can we not? It's not nighttime? I thought it was nighttime. I thought it was Betty by time. Let me sleep when I want to. So we really need to figure out exactly what type of garden we're going to make and how we're going to make this thing. It's got to start by chopping down some trees, I think. we got to clear out some room because we need a garden. We need a good garden. We need something that's going to produce us some sort of food. And I think we've got enough stuff to kind of start. What is that? I have no idea what that was. we got enough stuff to kind of get us started. So let's see exactly what type of gardens we can make. Uh, let's throw that in. Let's just throw a bunch of this stuff in there that we do not need. Uh, oh my goodness. Sorry about that, I just got a phone call there, and that had to interrupt me right in the middle of a recording. Yay! So much fun. But anyways, yeah, I've got that phone call all figured out. I forgot what we were doing, because that phone call took a little bit. We were going to make food, that is right. We're going to figure out what type of food we want to grow. So, we've got a bunch of these gardens. Let's maybe store some of our non-necessities right now. Uh, those? I don't think those are food. Can leave those out, so we'll need the water. Do we have a hoe? Let's make a hoe. Let's make an iron hoe real quick. And we can, uh, actually, how do you make a hoe again? That's right. Just like this. Boom, boom. There we go. Okay, so let's make a hoe. It's time to farm, man. Look at that. The game's even telling us it's time to farm. So let's grab uh, the leafy garden, the ground garden, the berry garden, the stock garden. Is that everything? Yep. All right, we're going to break a bunch of these things we're gonna see what we can get and if it's anything good we can hopefully plant them and grow a bunch of these so let's get the berries first three four oh we only had three okay so what do we get from these berries we got a raspberry a grape a blackberry a blueberry and two cattle berries so we can make seeds by doing that so that's what we need to do to begin with uh, so let's get the ground garden. Man, we gotta really organize our inventory here. Do we have inventory tweaks? We do. Yay! Forgot we had, we didn't have that. Okay, there we go. Oh, and two strawberries. Okay. So let's get the stock gardens next. There's five of these bad boys. So grab a whole bunch of these peas. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of things in here. Lots of vegetables. Eat your vegetables, kids. Uh, what else? Uh, yay, yay. Do we get rid of this? Maybe. Let's go store a bunch of this food real quick because we got to have lots of room. We got to figure out what we're going to plant. So just store all these before they despawn. Quick, quick, my friend, quick store. Those are leafy gardens. We need those. Okras. Okay, cool. Almost there. Just grab the last little bit of the tomato. Not tomato. Tomato, tomato, same thing, whatever. Leafy garden, you're up next, Mr. Leafy. Here we are. And what are we going to find? What are we going to get? We're going to get a bunch of cauliflower, a bunch of cabbage. So this is like the gross stuff. Lettuce, artichoke, spinach, leek, and a Brussels sprout. Yay, a lot of stuff that I don't like. So get that back into there. So I think all these we can make seeds out of. Now, I could be wrong. I don't know if we can actually make seeds out of lettuce. Oh, we can. We can make a lettuce seed. Okay, so let's get the things that I would actually eat in real life. I would eat lettuce. 
I would eat uh, grapes without a doubt. Uh, don't know what those blackberries are good. Blueberries are very good. Yum. Potato, yes. I don't know what we're gonna make though. We'll leave those. We'll leave those carrots. Yes. Okay. How about? Oh, that's a ground garden. We need those. Hang on. Why are we storing those? Eggplant. I don't eat those. Beans. Ew. Bell pepper. Yeah, maybe we could use some peppers. Cabbage. No. Cauliflower. No. Brussels sprout. Strawberries. Sure. Okra. Peas. Yeah. Mm hmm and raspberry okay so it looks like we're gonna be a very yeah, spinach is all right is that what we're gonna go with chili pepper maybe we could do that okay so let's start off by this and let's see what type of maybe garden we can make so if we now try to remember how to minecraft Connor we place down water so let's uh ooh, this is gonna I don't have a lot of open space maybe this is better over here so let's uh have it like this. Let's have our water source run through this part right here. And we'll just hoe the ground around it. So let's uh get that. Man, do we, do we have a water source around here somewhere that isn't all the way to the ground? Whoa! Just about fell. Uh, it's all the way to the ground. Awesome. So maybe not. I think this will work, though. I think this works for the beginning part. I do want to make an infant water source. But we just, that will hydrate it, right? If we go, oh, didn't mean to go that far. We might as well go that far. Plant everything, why not? And then we can go these ones over here, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at us. There we go. And then if we got a torch, we will place that after. So let's get started by making all of these seeds. I forgot to break the ground gardens. So let's break the ground gardens real quick. Oh, these gives us a lot of stuff. Oh, cool. Okay, so store in there. Ah, we don't need the sand. Don't need the oak. Da, 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 da. Break this. There we go. Give me those. Give me all these stuff. So what did that give us? That gave us some parsnip, some radish. Did we drop anything? No. Some radish, some rhubarb, some rutabaga, and some turnip. Oh, what a peanuts. Hey, we got peanuts. No, not, you know, peanuts, not no. Okay, get your mind out of the gutter. I uh, I don't think. Well, we might as well plant some of these, right? I guess radishes, maybe parsnip. So we'll go radishes and parsnip. So let's store the rhubarb, store the rutabaga, and the turnip. The, actually, we'll we'll, st we'll grow the peanuts too. Does it make peanut seeds? It does. Yes. We'll make peanut butter. Maybe. I don't know how this game works. Let's store those. Uh and. Parsnip, right? Was that all? Beet. All right, we'll make some beet seeds too, because I'm beet. Get it? Uh huh. Uh, and then we need a little bit of torches. We got torches. Look at this. It's like we know how to play. It's like we know how to play the game. Uh, all right. So this gives us some farming area, and let's just start by placing everything that we can. Now I know this isn't going to be the most efficient way. We'll have a real garden in a little bit but I just want anything that'll grow food to begin with so whatever will grow whatever will do us proud we're just gonna place place down all this stuff uh, and whatever grows is gonna be helping us eat because right now we do not have a lot in the way for food we got lots of peas though which is nice blueberry maybe need a little bit more so yeah we need blackberries and then we'll get two on each side. So let's just go over here. There we go. Not in line, but doesn't matter. Oh, we got leek seeds. We need more than that. Okay. Uh, so maybe three more on this side. Yeah, because we need beets. We need the carrots in the ground. And we need the potato in the ground. And we still got one more. A bell pepper. All right, bell pepper, you go over here. Get in there, bell pepper. Get in there. Awesome, so at least we've got some stuff now. What's this apple? How much does that heal? Ah, you know what? Maybe we should, uh, if we can make this, hang on, hang on. Do we have any stone? Or have I used all my stone? What's this? Nope. Any, do we have any more cobble? Oh, we do right there. Okay, awesome. So let's make, I think you need three. Three to make a juicer, if I'm not mistaken. Unless we already have one. It's been so long since I played this game, I cannot remember. 
exactly what you need. Uh, and then I think we can also make mushroom stew with the amount of mushrooms that we have, right? Yeah, we got a bunch of these mushrooms. So let's make some mushroom stew. That's going to tide us over in the meantime. Uh, let's, yeah, just do this so it goes. I think mushroom stew is made by a bull. This and that. Yeah, there we go. That's not very good. That's a... Jesus, my... Look at that. Look at all the inventory space it's going to take up. But I guess it's good food for now. So, whatever. Whatever floats our boat. We'll just heal up. And... One more. Give me one more. And an apple will finish us off. There we go. So now we can have apple juice, I think, once this is done. There we go. So we make a pressure plate. Boom. And I think we go pressure plate... Or is it the other way around? There it is. Juicer. There we go. So now if we throw our apples in with our juicer, look what we get. We get apple juice, and this heals a little bit more. It's just, uh, I think it's extra half. So it, like, doubles our food just by juicing it, which is pretty good. Which we're going to need to do with all these berries. Now, does this tell us how much it grows? It's grown zero. Oh, we're going to need lots of light around here. Hang on. I forgot light doesn't work as well in this game as in normal Minecraft. Put that up there as well. Is that good? Will that heal? Or will that grow at all? Lettuce seems to grow pretty quick. Leek. That's a 0%. That looks pretty dang big, if you ask me. To be at 0%. And what are you? Why are you in here? Oh, it just naturally goes there. Okay, wherever water is. And the raspberry crop looks very big for 0% as well. But, you know... Can't complain. There we go. Might as well light up this area around here. Uh, just get a little bit of lighting going on because it would suck if some monsters decided to come in and try to kill us, which is what we don't want to have happen. That would be very, very, very bad on our part. So store these around, around 10. Yeah, okay. So we, at least we got a little garden going on. You know, like that's good news. That's really good news. But I also have an idea... Oh, shoot, I turned all my apples into apple juice. Never mind. Store that in there. Weird. Nice lag. Oh, right. Refresh. There we go. So let's put... Yeah, I gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. See how I kind of changed the top part out to stone? I gotta fix that around these parts. It's kind of weird looking. But for now, that works as like a little placement. Yay! Uh, we will do that as well there. Maybe throw one up on each corner. Something like that. Uh, you up there. I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as it's somewhat lit up. We just don't want things kind of spawning in and killing us. And then we can just sleep again. And get rid of all the bad guys. So yeah, uh, we finally got a garden growing. Which is kind of nice. We can see it right there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So beautiful. So pretty. So pretty out there just growing our food. Slowly going to enter our bellies. Which will be tasty in the morning. I guess it is the morning, whenever it grows. As you can see also from the last episode, what I've done is I've just extended the roofs a little bit. I don't know if there's something missing. I feel like it could use something along the sides here, but this is just kind of the starter house as well. Kind of our cabin in the woods, if you so. So I mean, like, you know, it's not bad. I, I do enjoy the starter house. I think it looks nice. Just feels like maybe something could be added to it. This seems very flat right here. Uh, and lots of colors, so maybe, I don't know, it almost looks like the wood should be extended around that far, and then the rest should be, like, the middle part cobble, I don't know, I don't know, this is just my thoughts, my initial thoughts, like, we could go every couple blocks, be like that wood there, but anyways, that's for possible future, because see how flat this is, that'd be kind of nice to change up the blocks just a little bit, but, anyways, let's see, quick little check on our food, uh, what do we got? Zero, our cabbage at 29. Jesus, this takes a long time to grow. So we are going to need a big, 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 big farm once that we uh, do get advanced into this. See that? Oh, apple juice. Just heals. Heals one full. There we go. We're good. And we've also got all this mushroom stew, which is taking up a lot of inventory space. We'll store you for some late night snacks if we ever need it. Now, quick question. What can we do... With all this food, because I know cooking is a big part of this game. So let's check out an okra, and let's see exactly what can you make with an okra. So, oh my goodness, there's lots of foods. 
So uh, looks like we need a pot, skillet, pot, bakeware. Maybe we should make all this stuff. Let's get the foods going. Cutting board, skillet, cooking oil, vegetable oil. Okay, so, that, so it looks like these things are our cooking materials, our utensils, if you will. Bakeware, bakeware, string. We don't need that. And a pot so let's see the three main or four main things that it looks like you need are a skillet which we can make so let's uh can we go back there we go a pot which we can make so that's so far how much iron so two six iron uh ooh, bricks we can't make that quite yet i don't think nope okay so skillet so we need six seven i think we can probably use a stick yeah so seven pieces of iron to make all this bakeware and then some pots or some uh, clay, I should say, just to make the last little bit. So I think we've got this. Let's quickly get our wood that we have left over and let's make some cooking utensils because what else are you guys watching this Minecraft video for other than utensils, right? So if I'm not mistaken, there is one that went like this with a stick and a piece of iron. There's our... Cutting board? Cutting board! Yay! Got a cutting board. Perfect, perfect. So, the other one, I think there was this up here, and then... Yeah! I remembered! I remembered! Pot! Yay! We got pot! <laughs> no, we got a pot, Connor. Not just pot, we got a pot. And then the last thing was... So... Uh, I, I remembered! I remembered again. Beautiful. So we got our three main cutting utensils right there. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. Now I wonder if those break on once you use them. They may. I don't know. That would be actually really expensive if they break. Unless they have a durability, then that's kind of fine. But I'm not too sure if that's what's going on. Wait, whoa. Whoa, what are these? Cor carpets? I just said carpets. Carpets? We got carpet? What? So much stuff. Wow. Okay. Ooh, ooh. What are you? Floor carpet. Red carpet with a string in the middle and makes it fancy red. Oh, man. Dude, that's what we got to do. That's how we going to win this game. How else are we going to win this game except for to make carpet? This stuff refuses to grow. Strawberry crop. You're at 29. That's good. But the rest of the stuff, man, refusing, just refusing to grow on me. Grow for me. Just grow. So while our crops are growing, I think this is a good time, as any, to just kind of explore around this area that we are calling home and see what type of islands would be best for each thing that we're going to do. I mean, we can make a bridge to that one make bridges over there that looks like a very promising one for possibly a farm definitely gonna have a bridge leading from this little point over to there I think that'll look pretty good maybe actually to that point to there that's probably the good connection but what about behind do we have anything behind us we know we've got a huge drop-off back here which is a beautiful view uh, besides that though besides the view what does it offer what does it offer to us Adventurers, does it offer anything worthwhile going down and trying to find? So we're gonna find that out right now. We've got a bit of feud, feud. We got a bit of food on us, but I also need to go mining at some point, which I think I'm gonna do probably off camera in the meantime. Uh, so lots of water. Actually, now's actually a good time. You know what? Change of plans, folks. Change of plans. We're gonna head down and collect some water because. We need to, to make an infinite water source. So let's find the safest route down. Here we go. Drop down. Beautiful. Look at us go. Look at us go. We're adventuring. Fallen. And adventuring safely, unsafe down the mountain. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. We didn't die. And we got water. Yay. Oh, there's a huge water. Oh, that's right. I know where we are. I forgot. It's a month ago since I last played. So uh, excuse me if I kind of forget. If you guys are watching this in succession, you're like, what the heck? Why doesn't he know his area? Well, that is because I was stupid and didn't play. So yeah. What do you think of that? Um, 
Now trying to get up. That's the fun part. I didn't almost die. No, that didn't happen. That wasn't close to dying. I, I didn't almost fall all the way down the hill and plummet and break my legs. No, that didn't happen. What are you talking about? Who who said that? Who told you? No, no one told you because it didn't happen. But we are back up finally. And I think we might be okay. We might be okay for food if these have grown. Barely grown. You guys suck. Maybe if we put some more water in there. At least now we have an infant water source. We can take from any of these two middle ones. Can we take from the end one? No, we cannot. Okay, I don't think we can. Can we? No, we cannot. Okay. But at least some stuff is somewhat grown. Look at that 43%. You, Leak. You, Mr. Leak. You, sir, are my star pupil. Look at you. 43%. You are 43. What? 43% grown. Look at you go. You're doing fine. You're doing dandy. Just unlike the rest of you. you all of you guys should be looking up to Mr. Leaky. Mr. Leaky. Mr. Leak. Over there. Should be looking up to him. Should be looking to grow up just like him. Look at that. He's 43% grown up. You're only, you're only 29. It's time to grow up, man. It's time to face facts and grow up. Just stop being a child. Look at you, Mr. P. Be more... Oh, no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, poor peanuts. No, they were so young. Where, did I lose one? Dang it! Oh, no, there it is, a leaky. Okay. So, um, at least I didn't destroy that one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, next episode, once we get more food, we can start to do more things like building the bridges and things like that. That is in my plans to do the next episodes. I will not let this go a month in between episodes again. I do apologize for that happening. But then, guys, remember, it's because I had no excuse. I had absolutely no excuse. So, yep, just remember that. That is why. I had no excuse. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please remember to leave a big thumbs up down below. And then also be sure to check out the rest of the videos on my channel if you are new. Anyways, though, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.